Esparza's last fight where she won her title against Ebeth Zamora was named the WBC Fight, fight of the Year. As Ortiz looks like she's just cement. Got the timing down of Esparza, but Esparza's having... And that was a knockdown! Esparza smiling, saying, I slipped, she pulled me down. The referee hearing none of it. No, that was a push. Esparza pushed her down. Hey. Either way, in the books, it's a knockdown. Just dug herself a deeper hole. Annabelle Ortiz has fought in 17 widely recognized world title fights. She's she's been under the bright lights before. But she's in a hole now. Left the body. hook there from Esparza. Esparza caught her downstairs to the body and then came up top. And keep not smothering herself, not falling off balance. This is true professional fighting right here. Good left hand, overhand right from Ortiz. Finally starting to score a little bit here, Ortiz, Sergio. Ortiz is breaking the oh, distance yeah. now. He's going to call that a knockdown oh. as well because the glove touched oh. the canvas. What a shame. Six, seven, eight. So a couple Five. of controversial calls against Annabelle. Angel Mendez, the referee, calling, seeing something else. That's just a, a shame. Those are obvious pushdowns there. Crowd trying to root these two women on to close strong. See a good final flurry here with 30 seconds to go. There you go, Todd. These are the dirty yeah, tactics. Veteran needs to bring out. Let the referee warn you, though. Who's your favorite dirty tactic? Uh, Look at him go. Look at him go here at the final five seconds. And Annabelle Ortiz gave it her all, Sergio, but she wasn't big enough. She wasn't strong enough. To the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the WBC Women's Flyweight Champion, Marlene Esparza! <laughs>